In this video, I'm going to show you how to close uh, your cache drawer for the day. Um, in order to do this, we need to be on the register screen. So you want to tap the register icon on the left, and then you want to tap the small arrow icon in the bottom left. A menu will appear, and you'll have the option to close the drawer. So you want to tap that. And so now we have a uh, screen split into two sections. Um, on the left, as with the open drawer screen, you have all of your various denominations of, of money. So you have uh, coins, bills, and rolls. And on the right now, we have information about the current um, drawer, right? So this drawer was open today at 9.14 a.m. by the employee iConnect admin. And this is uh, information about the cash in the drawer. So our starting cash balance, we started with zero because I just opened the drawer with zero. We made a total of 54.62 in cash sales um, and we've got credit card sales. We didn't do any drawer entries so obviously this is 54.62 is what is going to be expected um, in the close. If it's not, we're going to have an error. So let's say this person who is closing it's going to be off just slightly. Um, they're going to have uh, two $20 bills, so that'll be $40. Um, they'll have one um, $10 bill, but then they're only going to have uh, four ones, right? So their cash error is going to be $0.62. Cents. Um, we're not going to leave anything in the drawer because we opened with zero. Um, but, you know, this uh, record that's going to be kept in the system will show that on this day, um, iConnect admin was short $0.62. Cents. Um, check count would be there if uh, you would have information here if um, somebody paid by check throughout the day. Um, so once you've entered all of that, you're satisfied with the count, tap done, and that's it. And then, of course, the next person will have to open the drawer um, before they're able to make a sale.